Hello and welcome to another episode of The Long Dark. Mike Hansen, or just Mike, um, went and uh, explored a little bit uh, after you left uh, yesterday. And unfortunately, uh, he got caught in a blizzard. He found a rope, or actually two climbing ropes. Uh, one that we are going to explore further uh, in the next couple of days. Um, but unfortunately he was caught in the blizzard and yeah, well, um, let's see if I just find this food I wanted to eat and well, almost died. Fortunately, he was um, Smart enough, uh, well not smart enough, but he was lucky enough that he found a car and could sleep in there. It's a perilous act beginning to sleep in a car because you can be lucky and um, if the weather holds um, you'll survive, but you can also be unfortunate and if the temperature suddenly drops, you can end up dying in your sleep in that car. So uh, that is definitely not something you should do lightly. But the weather held and Mike is uh, back at the house. He found his way up and now ready to go out and explore further. But before we do that, let's also prepare a cup of food coffee, we actually found a cup of coffee. Isn't that fortunate? But we need to warm it up before we can drink it. It takes 50 minutes and 47 minutes, so we can do something instead. Y you can see here that the deer hide that we have, uh, some of them are almost cured. We found a ravaged deer, so we could, uh, or he found a ravaged deer. So, um, he could actually um, harvest that, and um, yeah, well, also uh, some um, some guts. Uh, let's pick that up and put it over here by the others. So they can also be cured. So 45 minutes. Uh, it's outputting 43 degrees Celsius. Let's see how we're doing. He actually got a bit wet, so we're waiting for the. Oh, the clothes has fortunately dried up, but uh, that's one of the other things that is very dangerous. Sleeping in a car when you have no natural heat, if you have a lot of snow on you. And that snow begins to, um, well, begins to uh, get wet. You can end up um, becoming very cold. Let's see how we're doing for. It's actually only food that we need some for. Mm, I'm thinking about starting up the stove. But perhaps we could just take the pot. Uh, did we have some? Yes, we did have some. Let's take some gamey. Let's take some gamey. Venison. Uh, let's eat that cook gamey venison. Won't give us much because it's. <laughs> There's uh, not actually nothing of it, practically. So let's take a look. Where is our boiling pan? It is there. Use. Let's see. We can put it there or there. All right. So is that also? Yeah. Oh, 
So now it's not going to. That was much better. Now we're just going to wait until. Let's see how we're actually doing for um, sleep. Well, we don't need that cup of coffee. Let's take it and putting the pan instead. Putting the gamey venison. One hour and fifteen minutes. No, no need for crouching now. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's just put the the cup of coffee here. There you go. One interesting thing about this game, and it's sort of practically a little bit the same, like um, um, what's it called? Um, yeah, um, Subnautica. Uh, when, as far as I remember it, when you drink the coffee, if I drank the that, that cup of coffee now, which is cold, the cup would also disappear. And equally interesting, <laughs> when you. Um, When you, um, what is it called? Yeah, when yeah yeah that's it. When you when you make a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, then that cup just magically appears out of nothing. So apparently in this game, if you don't find a cup of coffee, um, the cups just comes magically to you. Fortunately. We have a lot of ammunition. We can get a lot of um, firewood here. Not not fire logs, but cedar firewood um, or fir firewood. Which basically means that we can survive here for a long time. What matters is that we get that we get our um, clothes clothing made. So the plan for. Uh, our stay here, our Mike's stay here at um, um, Mountain Town or Milton Town is that um, we get, we use these, I think it's four, let's check it out, let's see if I can see it here, no I can't, unfortunately, yeah I can see it here, um, we can make a pair of deerskin boots, we need Cured deer, deer hide, two of them, and two cured gut. They weigh two kilograms, so they are more heavy than the ones we have now. Let's check it out. It's two and a half, two, fifty-seven minus five, and those we have now are three, two, fifty, but minus twelve. So it's a trade-off. Let's see what was the protection. The protection was seven percent, and those were only four, right? Those we have now. Yes, four. And also, even though they weigh more, we can sprint faster with these. So I'm think we should definitely try to make them, but. Um, we need three deer hide and four guts for uh, a pair of extra uh, where were we a pair of extra deer skin pants you can also make uh, the moose hide cloak but that means we have to kill a moose which can be uh, peril can be dangerous as far as I remember it, we do have um, the wolf skin coat. We do have wolf, wolf skin enough at the, the mystery lake. So what we're going to need to do here, perhaps also cut guard and reclaim wood, make a snare. But we really don't need uh, more mit mitts, rabbit skin mitts. But nevertheless, deer skin boots and deer skin pants. That's the plan here, and maybe, if we can, 
a moose hide satchel that gives us an additional five kilograms I think it is um, of um, carrying capacity yeah let's see how it goes yes eat it it gives us a warming bonus also did it uh, give us much yeah, some one hour you could throw a coal in there just to rise the temperature a tad more we also need that extra time because <laughs> uh, yeah it should rise the temperature and it certainly does colds are just fabulous sixty three degrees celsius so while we wait we can go out and see how the weather is this time I didn't forget to bring um, let's see if we can drop that book let's see, uh, can opener is pretty useful charcoal also pretty useful for cartography actually I think we need some more charcoal we found a ragged cotton too I would pr prefer to get a wool took if there is such a thing. But let's see, we got a new light shell. We're wearing that. I think we found some sweaters. Um, ski jacket. Yeah, decent sweatshirt. I think we should uh, worn wool socks. I think we should tear those up. And um, for cloth, let's see, 54 minutes. Let's see how long it takes. Where is it? The sweatshirt. There it is. Actions, harvest. 10 minutes. That's not a problem. And um, was there something else? Yeah. Those one wool socks, let's uh, harvest them as well. And put the claws back into the camp. In this ragged cotton too. Let's tear that up as well. We can do that, we can we can at least do that while we're waiting, so for the for the meat because we need something to eat uh, before we go and we head out. That gave us one more. We have a fishing tackle. I'm not sure we need it, but we do have it. Hatchet we do need. MRE. Mm, let's see. If there's something we can drop. We could we can drop this one, but two stones. I'm not sure we need them. Oh yes. Let's um put that back and I think we're pretty light so that's that's a good thing and let's drop that um, drop that and pick it up put it here yeah Uh, I'm pretty sure that we got some extra ammunition here. Uh, we have tw 20, is that 21? I'd like to get our, we have 21, yeah, so I think we should remove 4 here. Two, three, four. I'd like to have 25 rounds, that's uh, with, with the rifle, that's uh, uh, 35, because there's 10 in. in the rifle. So we have 25 altogether. That can be.
let's uh, try to unload the rifle. Now, perhaps it's it's telling us that we have ten shots in the rifle and twenty-five um, more. Let's see. Where is the rifle? There it is. Let's action unload. Let's unload it. Let's see. Thirty-five. Yes. And when we reload it. We get uh, yes, exactly. So I was right. Good. And when we eat this, I think we need to go up and sleep also. Not because we need to sleep, but because it's getting uh, night time. We have two liters of water. That should be plentiful. Um. It doesn't seem that one of the things that I sort of speculated. It doesn't seem that um, turning up the heat or, or starting a fire um, it accelerates the curing of neither the hides or the guts. It takes the roughly the same amount of time. See two minutes, so now we can eat well. Unfortunately, we only have one cooking pan, so we cannot cook more than one uh, steak or whatever you want to call it with these venison pieces of meat. But we do have some. Getting much better at cooking. Let's see, do we have any more meat we can? Yeah, we have this. But I'm not sure we have enough uh, fire. One hour and one minute. Let's try it. Oh no, we need some more. Uh, what should we put on? Cat tail hand now. Put some sticks on. We have a lot of those, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's go out and check the weather while we wait. So I, I did actually check some of the other houses. So maybe we can go up and check the tank station. Oh, it's uh, completely foggy. Now you can see the smoke from the chimney. So well, that definitely means we are not going anything at the moment. So perhaps this is going to be... Let's go sleep for an hour and see how it is. And the food should be ready as well. One hour, five minutes, we can just sleep down here. We have our portable sleeping. S sleep for one hour. Four minutes until ready, but unfortunately the sun is going down. We can go and check what we should bring of food. Obviously we should bring, let's take some stale beef jerky. Stale chocolate bar. Let's take this energy bar as well. Moldy. Uh, we 
might get a bad stomach from it. And some salty crackers. And should we find, because if we're going down to uh, orange soda, those should be in the fridge. Banged up pork. Let's take two of those. Because we can cook them. If we can find some fire and... Uh, yes. Pick it up. Let's put it out here again. I think it was the tools. Yes. Drop. go. And now we are we smelly? No, we're not smelly. 26 minutes. Let's see how the weather is. I think we are going to need to uh, sleep until the next day. So let's do that. We have all that we need in order to uh, sleep for 8 hours. Wait a second, let's um, drink. And then let's sleep for 8 hours see where we are at that time. Feels like 60 degrees Celsius. Oh my god, he's almost boiling. <laughs> oh no. See the lamps? That's so spooky. Let's try something. Let's go check it out. Hopefully there are no wolves nearby. Oh yes, there were. Oh my god. That is so spooky. See? The lamps. Oh. Almost sort of like sort of an... Scary movie. Let's see, it's the middle of the night. Let's go sleep. I don't want to check out further because I know that the wolves are behaving like batshit crazy when it's um when these uh storms are going let's sleep for six hours and see how it is. day wise the sun is certainly rising so uh, let's drink and go out and check it out 
Uh, by the way, it's called uh, Aurora. Aurora Borealis. What we saw. And what Mike knows is, um, he saw it at one time, that when the wolves, uh, sorry, um, when this Aurora Borealis is present, let's see how much, oh, we need almost two liters, uh, there it is. The wolves behave completely and insanely crazy. More, definitely more crazy than they usually do. So I think now we should go check, um... Something happened with a wolf I could hear. Uh, I think we should uh, drop that uh, useless... Um, you can see now. The battery's dead. Apparently uh, these light flashlights only work. When this Aurora Borealis is there. There it is. That was the wolf. But what scared him? Well, I'm not wearing any um, wolf hides, so two plausible explanation: something bigger and scarier. Then a wolf. For me. And I would really love for it to be me. Because the only thing bigger or scarier than a wolf in this country is pretty much a bear. And I am not in the mood of playing hide and seek with a bear right now. But let's go down to um, farmer, I can't remember, it's called Paradise Meadows Farm or something like that. And check out, I think actually that I need to, uh, no I don't need to, yeah I do need to. Let's um, tempt ourselves and sketch here. Yeah, that was the missing part. Alright. The last time Mike was down here, he found wolves. Lots of wolves. Now, we can't shoot them, but I would prefer to save the ammo for quite frankly. Something more useful. Of course, in this game there is nothing more useful than surviving. But Let's go up and check this barn out. Usually there is a wolf in here. I would know because he has been here before. But there's not now. But there's a dead fellow. Any wolfies? No. Could end up being useful. 
No fluffies. I am very much satisfied by that prospect of not having to deal with any kind of fluffy. Because I am not in the mood of dealing with fluffy. To be quite frank. Paradise Meadows Farm, so that was the name. A little bunny rabbit. I can't remember if I put snares for bunnies out here. One other thing that I figured we can actually enter the tractor now. There's really nothing useful in here. But I guess the usefulness is if there's a wolf that wants to play. Let's see if there's anything useful here, workbench. Thank goodness. And chuckle. Oh, that is useful. And I have check that. There should be a dead man here. <laughs> Maybe he chose to go somewhere else to be dead. Fluffy? Fluffy! No Fluffy. I'm pretty sure that I have been here before. Yes, I have. So let's see if a second look at this Paradise Meadows farm can do any good for us. Let's take all the water. All this lovely Canadian flavored water. And if you cannot figure out why I call it Canadian flavored water, then please stop yourself from <laughs> thinking any further of it. Because you might actually throw up. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that I have been here before. That's a computer, I cannot search a computer. There's a shelf. Ah, uh, yeah, empty drawer, empty drawer. Let's see if there's anything useful. Search everything here. What I really wanted to see if there was a cooking pan. The freezes empty. Not here. I need some light. We can't use that for cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a stove, which is pretty neat. We have searched all the cabinets. Yeah. So, library. Oh. A cup of herbal tea. That is nice. Or really, that is actually nice because we can then make some. Huh? Empty, 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 searched, searched, empty. I've also searched the briefcase, yes, 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 yes. Nothing useful here. Unfortunately, no cooking pan. Hoodie. That'll come in handy. Let's take it. No, I don't actually think it will come in handy, but we can break it down for something useful. Cloth. To be frank. Let's uh, kill the light. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. 
Alright, I'm afraid that our time is now up, so I will uh, take my leave with you here, but um, I would really have loved to found, find a cooking pan. In any case, I shall say goodbye now. I will see you in the next video where we'll continue the search of Farmer Meadows place to see if there really perhaps are some things that we didn't get to search in the proper manner. So I will just quickly go in and out in order to Save the game. <laughs> yeah. um, but nevertheless, bye bye. See you in the next episode. Have a really lovely day and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.